What is going on world? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Hungarian Experiment and today I want to discuss why you should be optimizing or increasing your growth hormone levels naturally and why you shouldn't really focus on testosterone. I got a great comment the other day. It's going to pop up right here. You don't need to read it all, but basically he said that he really enjoyed my human growth hormone videos or the videos where I show you how I tested my own body and I got very, very high natural levels of growth hormone. But he said that he feels that I use the term growth hormone interchangeably with testosterone. And in this video, I'm going to discuss why he believes that, why I use the term growth hormone over testosterone, and again, why I think it is important for you to be optimizing or increasing your growth hormone levels. So let's dive right into it. So when I first started pondering the concept of hormonal optimization and I started to do my research on growth hormone and testosterone, I realized that there wasn't a lot of information out there or at least it wasn't the right information. And this led me to believe two separate things. One, there isn't a great understanding from the general public on the concept of hormones and how it actually affects the human body. And two, if there is an understanding out there, it is heavily influenced on societal notions on what testosterone and growth hormone are. And basically is that it can be supplemented or injected or replaced. Now this heavily concerned me because from the research that I did manage to find, my theory was that you can naturally optimize, increase, or maximize your testosterone levels just by manipulating certain factors in your life, which is basically what I've been doing for the last four years to get my results. Manipulating factors like your food intake, your physical activity, your stress levels, and it goes on and on. There are a lot of factors that you can manipulate and tweak to maximize and optimize your hormones. But I was also still not able to explain how growth hormone fit into this. I knew and understood that growth hormone and testosterone had a direct connection to each other, but from all this research that I did, I still couldn't find something that was easily able for me to communicate to other people how this connection was made. So why growth hormone and not testosterone? Why should you be trying to optimize or increase your growth hormone levels naturally and not focusing on your testosterone so much? So back then, after scouring for hours and hours, even days on the internet, I finally found this piece of information, this little diagram, that should help you to understand how growth hormone and testosterone are directly correlated with each other. To put it really simply, it's one big cycle. But ultimately, growth hormone is produced in the brain. More specifically, it's produced in your hypothalamus or your pituitary gland. This gland then signals to your testicles to produce testosterone. Or if you're a woman, it signals to your ovaries to produce estrogen. And then this production of testosterone or estrogen has a whole host of different factors and effects on the human body. Now to me, after seeing this and understanding all the other things that I had researched in the past, it just made sense that if I want to have a high testosterone output in my body, that I need to be stimulating my body to be producing the most natural amount of growth hormone as possible. Ultimately, my goal is to raise, maintain, and increase my growth hormone levels as much as possible because that is going to affect my testosterone levels. That is what's gonna help me put on more muscle, keep my fat levels low, help to stimulate my brain, and be at the top of my game every single day. To me, it just seems redundant to only focus on testosterone because it's one of the last few steps in the cycle. So it's not that I'm using growth hormone and testosterone interchangeably with each other. The fact is, you just simply cannot increase your testosterone levels without first affecting your growth hormone levels. So I just personally choose to not even talk about testosterone. Raising your testosterone levels is a byproduct of increasing your growth hormone levels.
Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps to explain why you should be naturally trying to increase your growth hormone levels as much as possible. If you guys are interested in how to increase your growth hormone levels as much as possible, I've heavily dove into these concepts in other videos. For instance, I'll, I'll talk about a real quick here, intermittent fasting. Fasting for 20 to 24 hours in men has shown an increase of 1500 to 2000% in growth hormone levels. That's crazy. Very similar is the sauna, for instance. If you do, I believe it's about an hour and a half a week, and it doesn't even really matter how you split it up, if you do 20 minute sessions, or you do a couple 40 minute sessions, as long as you're hitting this time variance weekly of visiting the sauna, you have a 1500% increase in your IGF-1 levels. IGF-1 is another subject that I've dived into in other videos, but it is also directly correlated to your growth hormone and your testosterone levels. As well, your stress levels, your sleep, all affects your growth hormone levels. It all affects your hormone production in your body. And I think that is the most important thing that we need to be focusing on if we want to grow, if we want to learn to how to use our bodies and optimize our lives. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found this information interesting, you think other people could benefit from it, I'd love if you shared this around. Uh, if you have any questions, go throw it in the comments section below. And on your way down there, make sure you go hit that like button. I am the Hungarian experiment.